Do y'all realize what's going on right now? Do you realize the Baltimore Ravens are on a historic playoff run at the present? Reason being because the Baltimore Ravens obviously have plenty of playoff experience. They have plenty of playoff success. But right here, right now, after they beat the Houston Texans in a divisional round and the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Buffalo Bills in a divisional round, the Baltimore Ravens will be playing their next game at the crib, the AFC Championship game at M&T Bank Stadium for the first time in history they will be hosting an AFC championship game that is crazy that and that's a good kind of crazy that's an amazing kind of crazy and everything that we've talked about from the beginning of this year to this point the Baltimore Ravens have done more than enough to put themselves in this position to where they can say that but I know I'm proud of them. I know y'all are proud of them. Obviously, the job's not done. And our job, personally, is not done either because we got plenty more to talk about in this video when it comes to our Baltimore Ravens. Before we do it, let's hear a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Football Battle Touchdown. More details to come later on in the video. Team, keep it clean. Let me introduce you to a new football game that I really enjoy football battle this game puts you in control to where you can customize and build your own baltimore ravens team if you choose you can also compete against your friends like you know we love to do oh and by the way there are no ads in this one but what exactly is this game about well let me tell you you start with short simple training exercises and once you build yourself up and you're ready you can compete in some real matches you start your journey by joining a team in the lower division and then you work your way up by proving yourself and the way you can do this is by participating in daily league matches and really helping your team win matches happen at the same time every single day and they are against live teams so you better bring your a game during the season there's multiple tournaments and different bowls that your team can win there's a national bowl there's a champions bowl there's an ultimate bowl the, the list just goes on and on and when you win these matches at the end of the season your team gets promoted to an even higher division the higher the division the higher the competition so it's going to take real teamwork and real good coordination to make it happen so there's a team bonding aspect in this game too to where you'll have to really strategize for all your opponents and all your your matches and do some true game planning so you can become the best team in the world now i know you're wondering well how can i even get this game how much does it cost what do i need to pay well football battle touchdown is available for free on both the google play store and the apple store so hit the field by downloading it on your phone right now so you can start playing and as a special promotion just for watching this video when you create your username and you put engraving in front of it the developers are going to hook you up with a special welcome package so you can't beat that so download football battle touchdown now team keep it clear man it's a real good feeling it's a good feeling that this game will be at the crib and the baltimore ravens they've been taking care of their business everything that's been in front of them they've grabbed it took it by the horns and whoa, whoa, whoa i guess that's literally a texans reference almost but they've handled their business regardless and that's a beautiful thing because there have been plenty of times in past years and previous years where they haven't now Somebody who has been handling their business is y'all team keep it clean. And I got to say, I appreciate y'all. Yesterday, uh, we were nine subscribers away from 73K. Y'all blew that out the water. And I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all helping us because it's not me helping us get to 73,000 subscribers. So I appreciate it. Next goal, 74,000. Let's see how quickly we can get there. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends, your family, because I know a lot of y'all already do that anyway. But tell your friends and family about the channel. Subscribe. Turn your notifications on so when we drop a video, you don't miss not a single thing. And leave a like on the video because, who y'all went crazy yesterday. I think yesterday might have been the craziest y'all ever went. But I appreciate y'all like crazy because y'all are crazy. If y'all deal with my crazy, y'all are crazy too. But I love y'all seriously, man. Now, um, somebody else who we love is these Baltimore Ravens. And they have a tough task coming up against the Kansas City Chiefs. You know what's crazy? Me personally, I actually felt like the Kansas City Chiefs were a more favorable, well, I got to put favorable in quotation marks, but were a more favorable matchup than the Buffalo Bills were. Now, I still feel like Ravens would handle business against either one, but I felt like Bills would create more problems than the Chiefs would. But both of them are going to create their problems, both of them create their issues, and both of them are going to bring their stresses. Now, real quick, speaking about the AFC Championship game, um, some personal plans, a little personal update, because uh, plans may have changed with that one. I was planning on going to the AFC Championship game, but... There was a miscommunication from where I usually get the tickets from, and those tickets, they are gone. Poof, they're out of there. So it's not looking like we're going to go. We'll still see, but either way, it's, it's fine. It's fine. So I ain't upset about it. I mean, it would have been nice to be there, but 
if if we just end up streaming from the crypt like usual and we just watch with team keep it clean that'll be perfectly fine as well so e either way we're good uh, but I'll keep y'all posted on that as time goes along and as we get closer, because, I mean, <laughs> it's already Monday, so we're we going to see. But um, I, I, I'll let y'all know. Uh, but anyway, um, back to the game. The the Chiefs, I just felt like they were a bit of a more favorable matchup uh, than the Buffalo Bills. But it, it's close. It's close. Because with the Kansas City Chiefs, y'all saw that clip of Patrick Mahomes. He said he liked to be the villain. He loves to be the villain. And Patrick Mahomes has been – the Baltimore Ravens villain for a while, for a while, especially against, uh, well, only, obviously only against Lamar Jackson because he didn't, wasn't here for the Flacco days. But he is obviously an amazing quarterback. Um, He's an uh, extremely successful quarterback, two-time Super Bowl champion, two-time MVP. Uh, Lamar Jackson looking to get that first Super Bowl championship this year. But this is, like, set up perfectly because – in order for Lamar Jackson to get his first, he got to go through the guy who's currently the best, the guy who's currently at the top of the food chain, that being Patrick Mahomes. And I love it because I see so many Ravens fans this week just show, or not even this week, but today and since last night, show their respect for Patrick Mahomes and them Kansas City Chiefs because you ain't got no choice but to respect it. I know we always talk about Patrick Mahomes being like whiny and stuff and complaining to the refs and doing all, and that does happen. But at the same time, they they are the champs. They are the current Super Bowl champs, and we know that was last year. But hey, they got it. That's theirs forever. They are two time Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes is two time Super Bowl champion, and that's that's a big deal right there. That's a big deal, and he has an opportunity to possibly play in the fourth Super Bowl, but. Sorry, Pat. Well, we ain't sorry. This is Baltimore Ravens year, and it's got to be done. But I've seen so many Ravens fans say in order to be the best, you have to beat the best. And that's exactly what has to go down. This game is going to be stressful. This game is going to be crazy. Uh, this game is just it's, it's going to have all the feelings, man. Like right now. Like and this same thing happened to me last week. Let me know if it happened to y'all too. But right now, it, it, it's it's Monday. Like when when the Chiefs first won, I was like, "Well, cause we were driving in the car, watching the game on the phone." And I was like, "I said, all right, let's go." I was clapping. I was hype. I was like, "Hi, right, hey, this this is real now, man. AFC Championship is set. Chiefs coming to the crib." But now, the feeling it, it kind of went away. Cause now I'm like, "All right, I'm, I'm cool. I'm chilling right now." But as we get closer, especially come Saturday and then Sunday morning. Oh, Sunday morning, we're going to be going crazy, man. So they were like, even I remember last week, uh, this the game on Saturday, my stomach was going crazy before that uh, Texans game. It was going crazy. I had in my mind I wanted to eat, but I ain't have no appetite. I ain't have no kind of appetite because I was just like the anticipation leading up to the game was crazy but anyway um this could be a big week for the baltimore ravens they could be getting some key guys back uh one of those is mark andrews and it was said last week that the plan was always when mark andrews went out the plan was always that he could be back for the afc championship game if the baltimore ravens made it that far i remember having conversations with y'all during the season Obviously, toward the end of the season, when once Mark Andrews was already out, but I remember having conversations like, "Hey," because <clears throat> John Harbaugh said that there was that outside chance that Mark Andrews could come back, and I was like, "Hey, Ravens, let's get to that point to where we have him as an option. Let's get that far to where Mark Andrews can return. So that would be great if if they can add Mark Andrews back to the lineup. So again, he practiced last week." And even on their last regular practice, he practiced in full. So, hey, it's like, okay, Mark Andrews must be good, right? But they said, no, 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 no. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. And that right there, that's how you know this Baltimore Ravens team is extremely confident. Because they, they are extremely confident in who they have and who they are. A lot of times it wasn't like that in the past. It, it really wasn't. But it says a lot to where one of your best players, not on, not even one of your best players on offense, one of your best players on defense, one of your best players on the team <clears throat> had an opportunity to come back last week, but you said, no, uh-uh, you sit down, we got this. You just chill out, we got this. That says a lot about these Baltimore Ravens right now. 
It really does. So with Mark Andrews, we'll see if he ends up coming back this week. Another guy that was out this weekend has been out for a while. He left during that Dolphins game. And really, throughout the course of the season, he's missed a lot of time. A lot more time than Norm. It's been Marlon Humphrey. Now, Marlon Humphrey, um, I'm not sure what to think about his injury. It's interesting because, remember Coach, we, when we had Coach on here, Last week, and he talked about how tricky calf injuries can be. He said it could be something that lasts one week, or it could be something that lasts the whole year, depending on the severity of it and what it really is with that calf. Is it just a calf? Is it an Achilles? Uh, we don't know. I don't know. You don't. We don't know. But with Marlon Humphrey, again, I guess this week we'll just see. We'll have to wait and see if we can have Marlon Humphrey in the lineup. Hopefully we can, but we'll see. Um, it's Monday, uh, the game is on Sunday, so they should start practicing, normally they start practicing on Wednesdays, I wonder if they'll do it, uh, earlier, I, I don't know, maybe they will do it earlier, but usually the, when they have games on Sundays, they practice, <sighs> they start practicing on Wednesday, so we'll see what happens with that, but, um, we just gotta wait for the practice reports and everything, I'm sure John Harbaugh gonna have his presser probably today, he usually has the pressers of Monday after a win, um, to give us some little updates here and there on different players and whatnot. But Marlon Humphrey, that's going to be a big question. Obviously, Mark Andrews is going to be a big question, but Marlon Humphrey is going to be a big question too because he's more of a question mark. That, and that's crazy to say that Marlon Humphrey at this point of the year, at this point of the season, he's more of a question mark for this game, in my opinion, than Mark Andrews is. I feel like Mark Andrews is like, a, oh, oh, yeah, 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 he's in it. But with Marlon Humphrey, it's like, oof, we don't know. So we'll see exactly how that goes. Well, some guys that did return, shout out to Devin Duvernay. He came back. He came through. Got his little punt return on, so welcome back. Got his kick return on, so welcome back. Or Darius Washington. I, um, I know he got activated. I didn't see him in the game unless I missed something, but I don't think we saw him in the game. I know Arthur Millette. Um, Arthur Millette has been holding it down in the slot, and Ravens been doing a lot of mix matching with corners and stuff. I know uh, Ronald Darby, he was doing his thing. Brandon Stevens, of course, uh, had a rough start. They had a rough start. Uh, Brandon Stevens did, and Ronald Darby did. They, they, were, they were struggling with Nico Collins and Dolan Schultz. <laughs> but Ravens made adjustments. And, again, what's crazy, just another beautiful thing about this season has been the adjustments. Shout-out to Todd Munkin. Shout-out to Mike McDonald. But on defense, they were struggling early in the game against Nico Collins and Dolan Schultz. But the Texans only scored three points throughout the whole game. On offense, obviously the special teams picked up that punt return for a touchdown. But on offense, they only got three points. Three points. So even with this struggle, that's how we are spoiled, man. We are spoiled. And that's a good thing. <laughs> I love being spoiled by the Ravens. But we are spoiled because they were struggling. They could not cover Nico Collins for nothing. They couldn't cover Dawn Schultz for nothing. But the Texans only got three points. Oh, my goodness. We like, this got to be the year, man. Ravens got to get this thing done for real. And I expect them to. Um, it's, again, they, they got what they need, and they're getting even more as the days continue and lead up to this AFC championship. This is a special one, man. This is extremely special uh, for the Baltimore Ravens and just for everybody. So let's hope that they get the job done.